People around the world know it's a huge challenge for anybody, but even more so if you suffered paralyzing injuries. Major Phil Packer was serving in Basra last year when a rocket attack left him with a broken back and unable to use his legs. Despite that, he's planning to walk the London Marathon on crutches to raise money for other injured yeah. servicemen <laughs> and women. As you can see, he's on his crutches there and he joined us now this morning, Major Phil Packer. Good to see you this morning. You. Um, tell us a little bit about what happened, Phil. Um, 19th of February last year, um, and I was in a, involved in an incident following a rocket attack. Um, got flown back by the Royal Air Force to Birmingham, uh, spent some time there, and then was transferred to Stanmore Hospital where I underwent surgery. And um, they, they've really put me back together. And um, I've been very lucky with the way the injuries got better. Mm. Um, had some super support from the Ministry of Defence at Headley Court, which is our rehabilitation centre, and they've worked on me. Uh, continually really month in month out any flickers of movement we've just tried to use physiotherapy um, and hydrotherapy pool work to to get me back to where I am now you're very matter of fact about it uh, I feel you sort of you, you roll it out like it's the sort of thing that happens to everybody or anybody any day and, 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 and you're lucky which yeah is which is an incredible thing as well do you uh, how hard has it been for you it's been there's been some dark days definitely but I'm I'm surrounded by people at Headley Court um, other injured servicemen who are in a far worse position than I am with some pretty horrific injuries. So it is a bit matter of fact when you, you spend time with people that inspire me, you know, and, and who are going through some very difficult journeys. And, and that's really what gives me the inspiration to do what I'm doing. Uh, initially, they said that you'd never walk again. That's right. They said it was highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. Yeah, it, this is at Stanmore Hospital when the tests that they ran after my surgery, the, the, there, was n there was no movement, there was nothing at all. And, and they classed that as a motor complete injury. And about two and a half months later, I got little bits and pieces back. And that's really where I am now. And you've worked on it from there to the point where we've seen you walk across the studio floor with, yep. with your walking sticks. And you're going to walk 26 and however many yards of yes. the London Marathon uh, with those sticks again. It's an incredible undertaking. How, how long are you thinking it's going to take? It's, um, it's 52,400 steps <laughs> and it's over, yeah, it's over 13 days. Um, start on, on Marathon Day, 26th of April, finish on the 9th of May. Um, and and um, this, is, this is to raise a million pounds for Help for Heroes. So raised about 230,000 so far. Um, got a website, uh, philpacker.com. And, and really it's, it's trying to get everyone behind supporting it yeah. th through donations you know i think i think we worked it out that if it was everyone gave 15 pounds per step i'd get the million pounds you'd get there yeah so the idea at the moment i mean it's an incredible <coughs> undertaking for you because it's going to be hard there's no 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 two ways about it it's going to be hard and it's going to hurt you and and you're being limited as well aren't you because one of your doctors you, you, f you feasibly could do some serious damage to yourself yeah my consultant um colonel alan mislin has said two miles maximum per day mm. just just because obviously I've, I've had muscle wastage for over a year um, and, and that, that includes the muscles around the knees for example that would support you so just taking it steady uh, I think it's about three hours per mile so three hours in the morning three in the afternoon and then I've got a, a, a hour or so of physiotherapy by a, an army physiotherapist in the evening and then carry on the next Crack day. Crack on the next day, as you say. Yeah. So you're hoping to raise a million pounds for Help for Heroes, which is an incredible cause and, and the sort of cause that we, we, you know, we can't do enough to help. But I'd imagine that this isn't going to be the last challenge you set yourself, Phil. No, because um, <laughs> on, the, on the 1st of June, I fly to America and a guy called Andy Kirkpatrick, who's one of Britain's top mountain climbers, is we're going to climb a 3,000 foot um, mountain called El Capitan. So Andy goes up 50 yeah. metres and then I'm on a stretcher and I pull myself up behind him. But it's proper climbing, it's not, it, you're, you're actually rock climbing, climbing? No, Andy's rock climbing and then I'm, I'm on the stretcher and I, it's 4,000 pull-ups, that's pulling. 4,000, yeah. so you're doing 50 odd thousand steps followed yeah. by 4,000 pull-ups. Yeah. Are you going to have a bit of time off at some point? Um, no, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. I, I, I've been ready to go back to work for a while, but because these, have, these events really have got bigger and bigger, Yeah. Um, the, the, the Ministry of Defence have been just fantastic to, to support me and this has been in between my rehab and, and really for me these events are, I need them because yeah. it's quite a hard journey and uh, you get some quite low times but it, for me I, I need to, I get the strength really from supporting Keeps you focused. And I imagine yeah. your, your website, which I've been on to, and I have left a message for you at philpacker.com, is incredible. The support you have, Prince Charles is on there, there's all sorts of dignitaries, there's all sorts of celebrities, all sorts of personalities, yeah. and all sorts of 
thousands of people up and down the country uh, lending support. That must be a real fillip. That must be a real boost to you as well. It, it, it is because um, you, you feel it's morally the right thing to do. When, when um, you know, my, my sort of military life was just taken away overnight. Mm. You know, I was commanding my company in Iraq, wanting to. Well, my job was to look after them, and then losing them all really, and 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 the feeling of not being in the army, but the feeling of uh, of losing confidence, self confidence, mm. um, uh, self worth. It, it sort of all goes away, and and it's a very unnatural feeling for me. Um, but this quest has really sort of been able, it's pulled me through. But I'm surrounded by so many people that do support. You know, I, 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 the fact that when I did the um, the Channel Row um, in, on uh, Valentine's Day, the, the, the one person that texted was Prince Charles's office, and that oh, gives wow. you, I mean, in fact, he was anyone, but that gives you a bit, of, <laughs> it, but it gives you such a boost because yeah. you just, you need that sometimes. Of course, and you know that they're thinking about you. Well, we are thinking about you. We're very proud of, of what you're trying to do, um, and it's great to see this morning. Best of luck Thank you on the so day. Uh, and, if, and if you are around and about on the course of over those, those few weeks while Phil's doing the walk, then do, do cheer him on and stop and, and give him your support. And as well. And 15 donate. pounds need for every step, so I'm sure we step. can delve into our pockets. Uh, Phil's Thank story you, Phil. is all on the website, and you can, of course, support him by going on to gm.tv. Now, here's a question for you. Are you terrified of spiders? I expect Major Phil isn't.